Welcome back to the part 2 of the small land implementation tutorial. In the part 1 you became familiar with the, some basic Cisco iOS commands and we also configured this server as a DHCP server so let's label it this is a DHCP server in our network our main server role as a DHCP server so let's connect these end devices to our switches so select the connection tab and go to the copper straight through cable in previous tutorial you connect two PC via the crossover cable because they are the same devices in this example you have a different devices you have a switches with the PCs so you have to select the straight through cable connect the server fast internet drag the cable and you can connect to the whatever port you want but it will be good um, example if you dedicate some ports for your server section so I connect to the fast internet 0 slash 2 and select the straight cable again PC 0 fast internet drag the cable and I dedicate my fast Ethernet 0 slash 10 and about to the user section so I connect to the fast Ethernet 10 this PC fast Ethernet drag and connect to port 11 and finally we connect our small laptop fast Ethernet to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 12 okay we are waiting for the, our, our communication became normal and this switch back from the listening to learning mode okay before that I'm going to enable the IP address for end devices click on a PC 0 go to the desktop go to the IP configuration now because we have a DHCP server we can enable the DHCP IP addressing and you see after a few moments the client get the IP address from the server 192.168.0.11.255.255.255.0 and it get the IP address PC1 go to the desktop IP configuration DHCP and get the IP address .12 and finally on laptop we do the similar process desktop tab on IP configuration and DHCP. Okay, all our devices get the IP address, and we can confirm this. Yes, all of them. Okay, good. And the laptop. Yes, all the devices have IP address. I go to the switch iOS, and you can see the Cisco iOS report us that our interface ports are change state to up. Let me show another command. We are in which mode now? Yes, privilege mode because of pound symbol. We can see the IP interface. We want to see the IP interface then use the show IP interface brief command and I use the tab key to complete the command and press enter. In this table you will see the status of the physical status and the layer 2 of OSI status of the link. In other words, for example, the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 status is down and fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 status is up because this port is connected to our server. And because the server has an IP address and everything is working fine, the line, the protocol is also up. When there is a problem in the layer 2 of OSI data link layer, this will be go down and, and if you have any problem on the physical or cabling uh, level the status of the physical go down and I go in coming down and press space and you can see these are the fast Ethernet 0 slash 10, 11 and 12 which are connected to our PC and notebooks okay As you know, the switches are the layer 2 devices. 
To transmit the data among the network, the switches use the special table which is called the MAC address table. And to show the MAC address table, we can use this command show MAC address dash table, press enter, and you can see our switches start to learning from the communication. And if you use the up arrow key, you can back to the command again and you can see this is the this switch you learn that the uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 is connected to this MAC address and we can go and verify if you bring your mouse cursor over the these ports it will show that which port is connected okay I want to check the port fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 MAC address and I can check the MAC address of the server from this section the fast Ethernet under the interface and the MAC address of the server is this number and you can test the connection by using the ping I go to the command prompt ping 192.168.0.11 and you can see we've got the reply from the PC slash tool and finally dot 13 and all the three and devices reply to our machine we can check this connectivity by the Cisco packet tracer tools if you remember we can use this small envelope to create the PDU packets I try to ping from the laptop this PC and you can see we have a successful message here let's back to our switches and Try the command show MAC address table by using the up arrow key. It backs to the last uh, command. Press enter, and you can see the our MAC address table is completed. The switch learn about each MAC address which connection to a specific ports. You can see this is the ports numbers, and dynamically the switch learn about these MAC addresses. Okay, our this week tutorial is also finished. Please leave your comments uh, here in you, our YouTube channel. Subscribe on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And thanks for watching.